Here we have a hematoma of the ear. You can see it right here in the illustration. It affects typically the top two thirds of the ear because that has cartilage. There are three layers. There's the skin, there's cartilage, and between the skin and the cartilage is the blood supply to the cartilage known as the perichondrium. When you have damage or trauma, it can occur in any of those three layers. Typically, if there's blunt trauma with no cut, then that's when you see a hematoma such as this. If there is a cut, then often it'll keep draining through the cut. After obtaining consent, which includes talking about the risks, benefits, and alternatives, risks for any procedure typically is going to be bleeding, infection, and need for more treatment. Then they will inject local anesthetic, which could be something like lidocaine, with or without epinephrine. Once it's injected, there are two main options. One is to put a needle into the area and aspirate or suction out the blood. The second option is to make an incision. Here we can see, based on the size, this healthcare provider chose to make an incision. Now you're going to drain or evacuate out the blood. Once you do that, you can place sutures, as is shown here in blue. Typically, these sutures are clear and they resorb on their own. And the reason they are placed is so that it holds down the skin so it doesn't reaccumulate the blood. And you can see as well, the healthcare provider left the incision open to let it keep draining. Another option instead of those sutures is to put a dressing. These are typically called bolster dressings and there's gauze that's put in the front part, gauze put on the back, and a suture goes through the cartilage to hold it down. And these will be cut out typically after five, six, seven days, just depends on how much fluid was in there. Let's say that the wrestler or mixed martial artist does not want to have it drained. What could happen? With repeated trauma, you could end up with what's known as a cauliflower ear or a wrestler's ear. This video is strictly for educational purposes. I am not providing specific medical advice. If you have either a hematoma or a cauliflower ear, please seek professional medical assistance. The illustrations and content were created by Dr. Camacho.